Hello traders, FS Pepcolante here. Today is Friday, July 5th, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the Euro dollar monthly, I'm still very bullish on this on the higher time frames. I still think we're going to go up and either make a running flat wave C, which would bring us likely to one of these two Fibonacci extension levels, or possibly we're going to go all the way up, which I still think is more likely because I think it needs to take out these highs for an expanding wave C, which would likely bring us up to the 178, 161.8 Fibonacci extension. So either way, let's head down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, definitely looks like we got the end of a crutching right here. I see a nice five waves up. Looks like a wave one. This looks like a WXY wave two. I think this is going to continue to make higher highs, higher lows on this weekly time frame in a wave three. Wave three of an expanding flat or wave three of a running flat. So, heading down to the daily time frame, I got my Fibonacci retracement on here just because the retracement levels are definitely areas of support and resistance. We are at the 61.8, so maybe it will be an area where we see a pullback. We also do have non-farm payroll coming out today, so we'll have to see what that does. The trend is definitely, definitely up, and I personally think it's the end of a wave 2 and the beginning of a wave 3. That doesn't mean there's not going to be some pullbacks along the way, which hopefully is going to be good news for us, because that should give us opportunities to go long for the continuation of this uptrend. So taking it right down to the 4 hour time frame. On the 4 hour time frame definitely making higher highs, higher lows. Definitely no break of structure to the downside. No lower high. Not even a Fibonacci bounce. So definitely still primarily looking for longs on shorter time frames. Heading down to the 1 hour time frame. This move up is definitely kind of a slow gradual move to the upside. And we are sitting at the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement. So if it does respect to 61.8, if it does go down and start breaking structure on the one hour time frame, then you possibly could go short at that point. But even if it does go down, I think it's probably just going to be nothing more than an A, a B, and a C correction to the wave 3 uptrend. I believe that we're in a wave 3 on the very high time frames, like the weekly, the monthly, and the daily. If this is a wave 3, then it possibly won't even make a proper ABC like this. It might just make a little pullback and just continue to make higher highs, higher lows. So I would definitely primarily be looking for longs, but if you do get a break of to the downside, you could possibly look for sorts with caution because we have to remember we are most likely in a wave 3 trend, and a wave 3 trend is supposed to be the biggest, strongest trend, in, biggest, strongest wave of a trend. So it may not make a proper pullback, it may just continue to make higher highs and higher lows. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked down here in the corner. And don't forget to check out my website if you'd like to get access to my swing trade setups and my daily live Zoom meetings. As always, thank you and happy trading.